working on germinating or planting seeds of uh, Acer Greasum, which is paper bark maple. I think I've got around 400 seeds here. I just dumped them out from soaking. They've soaked about 48 hours now. I changed the water several times, getting putting warmer water back in there because these are just notoriously poor germinating seeds. I went through and scarified these by either rubbing sandpaper on them or actually nicking them with a razor blade. Um, these seeds have been reported to have a, germ a germination rate of less than 10%. So, these actually have been sitting in my freezer for t two years. Um, so they've gone through a long dormancy, um, so I'm hoping that will help get my percentages up. So I've got my seed germination trays here. I'm just going to go ahead and start dropping them in, and I'm actually going to put a lot of them in there. Um, because again, with a low, with a low germination, germination ratio, you know, if one out of every ten of these seeds germinates. I don't have a whole lot of fear of uh, of overcrowded trays when they do start to grow, and in that case, in that case, when they do start to grow, I will be uh, pulling them out, probably putting them into small pots. So I've got two trays here. I'm kind of hoping to get two trays, and uh, we'll be putting them in the greenhouse letting them hopefully germinate over the next uh, four weeks or so, see what happens. Um, and as they germinate and start to grow, I'll, I'll slowly pluck them out of the flats and uh, get them into smaller pots. Hopefully they do. I think I've done everything I possibly could to prepare these seeds for germination. Putting them into a greenhouse would be the next Obviously the next uh, ideal thing to do to make sure they stay nice and warm, nice and moist. Um, I'm kind of spreading them out a little bit because I just want to make sure I get two full trays. And it's been noted that, that uh, sometimes even when they're, when they're uh, properly prepared that they can still take up to two years to germinate, which is, I'm not a patient guy, but you know, it's it is definitely a challenge to try and see if you can see if you can do it. Um, it's paper mark paper bark maple is an absolutely beautiful specimen tree, and they command some pretty decent money uh, just because they are such a hard plant to grow. So that's that's kind of the idea is to be as successful as possible with germination, so eventually they can be sold and find a new home here so it just will take a very long time if these whatever does germinate right here in these flats will I mean it would take probably four or five more years to uh, to actually get them to the point to where they can be put into a I don't know three to five gallon pot uh, so it's, that's why they're so expensive to buy. Um, a lot of these seeds came from trees I have here on my property, um, as well as trees from other other places. But I've been collecting them for the purpose of putting them in long dormancy and doing doing everything right by the book and seeing if I get any results. And doing things by the book is not my forte. I usually don't <laughs> I usually don't like to follow too many guidelines that I haven't set myself, which is very counterproductive because you need to listen to people that have done this previously. Um, but I've certainly changed changed a lot as I get older and uh from that mindset, it just saves a lot more time if you just uh, just listen to 
people talk about uh, the experiences that, they, that they've had, the mistakes that they've made, and just try not to repeat them. So yeah, I'm gonna have a nice, nice couple trays here. Um, again, two years with these seeds, and you know I spent a pretty substantial amount of time <coughs> cleaning these seeds, storing them, um, and then soaking them, scarifying them. Um, so I'm really hoping that these guys grow. It'd be so cool to have a nice little group of uh, paper bark maples. I can do some bonsai, do some growth plantings. Hidden Lake Gardens had a growth planting of uh, paper bark maple. It still does, just the coolest thing because of the bark, the bark characteristics. Really cool little plants. But my real intention would be to grow these to three to five gallon size plants and then use them in my own use them in my own designs. Nothing cooler than uh, doing a landscape design and um, designing in plants that you've actually grown from either seed or from cuttings and doing an entire landscape with plants that, that you've grown on your own. That is very, very fulfilling and satisfying. Uh, but it takes a long time to get to that point, trust me. Uh, there's a lot of growing pains. I. Uh, I would not recommend it. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Unless you had a, unless you had a good budget budget to start up with to buy some stock plants to do, to do a lot of your propagation off of to make your inventory perpetual. So, all right. I think that's good. They're all evened out. I'm going to take them up to the potting out to the potting table. Add soil. Uh, and put them on the bench and let them sit and, and see what happens. And again, whatever does grow, I'll end up putting in small pots. If there's a, if there's, if I know there's a bunch more seeds in here that didn't germinate this year, I'm actually going to keep them in the tray, uh, overwinter them again in these trays, probably wrap them up um, so the mice and the chipmunks and everything don't get to them. I'll uh, wrap them with, with some uh, wire or something to keep them protected and then see if I can get them to germinate again. It's been said that these can take up to three years sitting in the nursery to germinate. Man, that takes some patience, but I've done all the work now. Now it's just uh, time to keep them watered, sit and wait, and uh, see what happens. Acer Grayson, Paperbark Maple. Mm -hmm.